Uh, the, another reason why I love this conjecture is that not only is it very elementary and concrete, uh, but it actually predicts a very deep analog with several different parts of mathematics that I would not go into. But this pattern that you see in all these numbers suggests that in a certain natural algebra that you can construct out of these higher dimensional spheres or triangulated spheres, you should see uh, one of the general patterns that you see in so many different types of mathematical structures. It is, goes under the name hart lepschitz theorem. And it predicts that if you, your algebraic structure satisfies it, then you should have this unimodality, the single mode in the middle. So the palindromicity of the sequence is an analog of the Poincaré duality theorem in topology, which again also appears in several different contexts, not just in the topology where the notion originated. But another prevalent pattern in mathematics is, is a hart lepschitz property. And the conjecture predicts that you should also see this another type of relation in any triangulated sphere. Proving the G conjecture would actually have other implications, deeper implications. Yes, it will have so many implications. And it will, but besides uh, any applications or implications, if it, if it is proven in the right way, then it will give a truly deep satisfaction to many, many mathematicians. The, because it will say that this general pattern, which is natural but not obvious, is there for so many different mathematical structures, in particular for such an elementary object for triangulated spheres too. Is the G conjecture like a holy grail? Is it one that lots of mathematicians work on, like the Riemann hypothesis and things like that, or is it very specialized? So it depends on what kind of mathematician you ask. It's certainly uh, lesser known than big conjectures like Riemann hypothesis. But for people who care about topology, spheres, and combinatorics, this is one of the biggest problems in that area. There'll be big fame and fortune for the person who cracks it? Oh, sure. You'll, you'll get tenure at that famous university. <laughs>